And well, as a matter of fact, Mars and the loons just keep coming. Here's a story from the Independent UK. Uh, cinemas have a lot to teach us about the world if we're willing to pay attention. Ninety uh, different theaters in the U.S. will be screening 1984 in protest of Donald Trump, specifically his alleged pro proposed cuts on cultural institutions, including the entire elimination of the National Endowment for the Arts. The film, which stars the late John Hurt, adapts George Orwell's iconic 1949 novel, which tells the story of a dystopian world marked by perpetual war and constant surveillance, controlled by a privileged elite who seeks to per persecute individualism and independent thought. Gee, that's exactly what we had under Obama. A dictatorship overseen by Big Brother, Matched by a cult of personality, though he may not even exist. Winston Smith works the propaganda branch of the Ministry of Truth, tasked with rewriting newspaper articles so they always read in support of the party, or destroying documents to remove evidence that the government is lying. And this sound familiar? Well, yeah, it does. Uh... And that's what we've had going on. This is what Donald Trump is objecting to, and many of us are objecting to, is the way the media is controlled by the government, and you know, the two work hand in hand. <coughs> Ninety cinemas, including leading U.S. locations, Alamo Draft House, IFC Center, Film Center, Lincoln Center, will be will screen the film on four April. Date in which Winston rebels against Big Brother by starting a diary, an act punishable by death. Orwell's novel begins with a sentence, It was a bright cold day in April, and the clocks were striking 13, reads a statement on the project's website. Less than one month into the new presidential administration, theater owners collectively believe the clock is already striking 13. Orwell's portrait of a government that manufactures their own facts, demands total obedience, and demonizes foreign enemies has never been timelier. Oh my god. Where are you people? Were you people asleep the last eight years? The Endeavor encourages theaters to take a stand for our most basic values, freedom of speech. Respect for our human beings and simple truth that there are no such things as alternative facts. <coughs> Bullshit. <coughs> By doing what they do best, showing a movie that the goal is cinemas can initiate a much needed community conversation at a time when existence of facts and basic human rights are under attack. Though nationwide participation is strength in numbers, through nationwide participation and strength in numbers, these screenings are intended to galvanize people at the crossroads of cinema and community and help bring us together to foster communication and strengthen resistance against current efforts, efforts to undermine the most basic tenets of the society. No, you people are undermining this society. Donald Trump is trying to save it. I haven't seen anything that he's done that is undermining anything. He's just out and out tells the truth about uh, what we have going on. Uh, the press is dirty and corrupt. Let me take a look at some of these pictures. Now look at this. These are uh, these are the people who say they want to save American values. Look at the sound of the signs. My favorite one's right in the center. It's time to riot.
These people wouldn't know American values as they bit them in the they're a snake and they bit them. That's a scary sight. Well, they're probably uh, focused on rioters. Yeah, they are. These are the people who uh, have American values. They're smashing police cars and burning and looting. I don't think so. Well, I'm going to leave you with this. Uh, the theater owners obviously haven't been paying attention, or maybe they don't want to pay attention. I mean, after the last eight years, it's been a nightmare of surveillance and <clears throat> anti-Americanism from the top. Uh, you theater owners, you can stick it as far as I'm concerned. 1984 is a fine film, but the reason you're showing it is bogus. The National Endowment for the Arts is a hardcore leftist thing anyway. We'd be well rid of it. I'm Artifacts Mars. Thanks for watching. Loons are on loose.